Hello, Gemini. How are you today? Welcome. I'm glad you stopped by. Thanks so much. We're going to get started with your timeless love reading, but it will be for the second week of September is when it's published. Okay, so let's see what we have in terms of cutting the deck and see what your overall energy is for this reading, and it is Five of Wands. All right, Five of Wands. It, it, you can really see this is Oftentimes, people who are very close, who have a lot of affection for each other, it's tantamount to children, you know, playing wooden swords in the backyard, but it's just wands. But it does say that ego-driven energy can set the house on fire and turn something that wasn't such a big deal into something bigger than it needs to be, okay? Yeah, good. I like the energy underneath also. Okay, so it really speaks to the fact that you know, what's going on now is a lot of ego. So, you know, check your ego at the door for both of you. Okay, so in the recent past, we have your energy is the Seven of Wands. Ah, Leo energy again. It looks like you've been scuffling or having a disagreement about how to have the relationship. Seven of Wands says in the recent past, you both feel defensive. Your current energy is Hierophant energy, beautiful energy. It really speaks to the fact that both of you want this relationship. You know, both of you see the other person as someone that you want in your life, that your life is much better with your person in it. It does speak to the fact you have very probably traditional beliefs um, that have worked well for you in your life. It does show that you do feel the, the other is part of your ascension process. We see the doorway to heaven, so to speak. Let's see how your person is viewing the relationship itself, Seven of Cups. They're not really sure what to think. Your person, this can be your person keeping their options open. And this card can be a card of competition. So Gemini, it does speak to the fact that, you know, you might, might feel defensive for a reason. For some of you, it can even indicate that there's a thought process of you know, different relationships going on, but we'll see as the relationship unfolds. How do they view you, Gemini? They view you as their very best friend. That is Cancerian energy. They want to nurture the relationship. This is Taurus, and that is Pisces. Excuse me, that is Scorpio energy. You really get stung if you make the wrong choice with Scorpio energy, and this person is either fantasizing about you or they don't know what to do. They're trying to make a choice. In their heart space, Four of Swords, they feel wounded. I want to really say right here that this doesn't mean you have anything to do with the wounds, but since it's a love reading, it's certainly impacting the relationship. The Four of Swords says that they are trying to heal, and you know, this looks almost like a child in a nest, right? So they are trying to, to heal some, some inner wounding, could even be physical issues. How do they view the relationship going forward? Oh, look at that. The absolutely penultimate manifestation of everything beautiful in life. It's life itself. They see you as a very nurturing person. They see the relationship as being one in which you nurture each other. It's really wanting to be larger than life in this relationship. Not really sure how to get there, but you know, that's what the journey is about. It's what makes it exciting. In your mutual energy, the Five of Swords, the Four of Swords to the Five of Swords here. The mutual energy really speaks to the fact that there is something that neither of you can control about the relationship that gets in the way. Uh, it can be circumstances, but it also can be, in my opinion, ego-driven you know, ideas that that you need to just release. That's what I'm getting. And I like the Scorpio energy. It helps us release that which doesn't work once we get to a better, you know, a more finite ability to make that decision properly. Spirit is recommending keep the fire in your belly, keep up the work, and, you know, just do the work that's necessary. Don't borrow trouble. Just stay strong and get some rest and let some of these thorny things that are bothering you at the moment and any confusion, give it a break, give it a rest. All right, Six of Swords, you're gonna move away in the near future from the adversity in your relationship, anything that's been going on, because we have an interesting set here. We have the Four of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Six of Swords. 
So to me, this is also individual healing. Both of you have done a lot of individual healing. Your person especially has been going through, I think, a rough time. Look at this. It's almost like a triangle, almost like the Trinity with the fire in the belly. It's the really beautiful energy that's going to push forth and accomplish the Empress energy. Okay. So let's take a look and see what we have here. We have ego-driven battles, challenges, competition. Competition can sometimes come in the way of jobs and too much to do. And Five of Swords can also be, you know, circumstances in life are undermining your time together. It's all the above, though. It's always some blend. Okay, so the Page of Cups is really sweet energy, and it says that both of you... <laughs> are trying not to confess your affection for each other. You're trying not to talk about it. Look at that page of cups. When pigs fly, this little page will have their act together. But, you know, it really speaks to the fact that whatever you feel for each other is very tender. It comes from a place of being tender-hearted children. There's a very strong innocence here. But the ego drives of being an adult and feeling this sort of defensiveness. I, I have to protect my heart. And I feel Gemini it might be your person more than you because they do look like they've had some wounding in childhood. Okay, so tell us more about the Five of Wands. Give us a couple more cards, if you may. Okay, ego energy. E I said ego. I meant to say Leo energy. But it is, it is egocentric. I mean, but we have leadership here. I like it. There's leadership that's going to help drop this and drop the defensiveness and move you into a sweeter energy. So it's like, okay, everybody's an adult in the room. We need to stop fussing and worrying and, and really just get into our childlike heart space. Look at this. This is crazy. That just dropped out, as you can see. Look at that defensiveness, feeling like you have to defend yourselves, feeling like you both have walls up to me is what that says. And both of you want the same thing. You rascals, you want exactly the same thing with one another. I love it. I only called you rascals out of affection. <laughs> I love the rascal, right? You're rascals because you're trying so hard to be prim and proper and do everything the right way. And at the end of the day, you adore each other. Okay. So, Gemini, let's see what else we have here. Four of Wands. Look at that energy. You want stability. You'd like to build a life together. You know, but you're not talking about it. Nobody's talking about this. All right. So now we have winner, winner, chicken dinner sideways. Of course, because nobody's talking about anything. So you have the Five of Wands, Six of Wands, and Seven of Wands, where you're going to release some of that ego energy. I'm getting the two of you releasing it. It's just way too much fun to be successful together. That you know, At the end of the day, you're going to release whatever doesn't serve you in the way that you thought previously uh, for the win. All right. I like it. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here for your person? Eight of Wands reversed. They, for some reason, do not think that they can move forward at this time in the relationship. The Five of Coins tells us that spiritually they don't really, they're not seeing the big picture because the big picture means if they lift their head out of their shoulders, there's a key to the door to open up the opportunities. In which case, you could have a passionate new beginning, but until they get the 411 information call from spirit they're not gonna they're not going to see past that so right now they're stuck it's a feeling of stuckness okay what else do we need to know that's what's causing the five of swords the five of cups sadness disappointment feeling like life isn't fair feeling like they you know they want to move ahead with you but to do that, they might have to leave something else behind. That can be an attitude. It can be a person. It can be a situation. It can be a location. Ace of Wands, they really want it. Look at this. Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups clarifying all of that confusion. They want a passionate new beginning in love with you. Beautiful. Okay. So the Three of Cups, why is it here? 
why is it here, Gemini? Look at you. The person views you as somebody who has mastered the money and the stability and the passion and the loyalty in their life. They see you that way. They spy on you all the time. And I would say that's really when they're with you. Their mind is going a million miles a minute assessing who you are. They see you as not only the king of pentacles and their best friend, they see you as very independent and very powerful in your own way. Not only that, they see you as somebody who's very intuitive and very smart and somebody who has a lot of intuition, somebody who keeps their own counsel, somebody who feels, you know, they really feel that you're in many ways a very private person. Gemini, Gemini, I like that. That's a really great... Uh, that's beautiful. Okay, why is the Four of Swords here for your person? What is going on with this healing that they need to do? This nest, there's something about the nest that they live in or the profile of how they grew up, whatever that means. The Queen of Pentacles reverse says that they were not nurtured uh, in the way that they needed it. That's not to say that their mother was not a good mother. It just shows that there, there may have actually been a loss of a mother for some. Okay, because usually the birds, you know, the mother bird is feeding the baby bird in the nest. Shows that this they were left alone in the nest and that the mother wasn't there, even though it looks like this is a very beautiful mother, a very good mother. You know, there are people who get orphaned. There can trigger abandonment issues, but that's what I see as very much this is an issue from childhood. It's about not having received what they needed. And the strength card. Look at the beautiful person your person became. No matter what happened, they really have this beautiful ability to love very deeply. And they love you very deeply. Scorpio energy. You know, that's that justice. That's the judgment card, right? This is releasing, releasing. Phoenix rising. Beautiful energy. I mean, it's just exquisite because this person's very strong. But it still impacts them. What, it, what I'm seeing here is that your person holds back when they, they're not comfortable early in relationships. I think it takes them a long time to trust people. Why do they see you and the relationship as the Empress? Oh, look at that. Again, so many cards. Six of Swords. They see you as the penultimate possibly mother they didn't have. You know, you may be a mother of other children, but they see you as a creative, they see you as abundant, they see you as their wish fulfillment. Um, and I would say, I mean, just on a very practical level, they think that you embody everything that they wish for, not that they're wishing for you. They, they have you in their life. The Six of Swords says that they definitely want to move past any difficulties. They don't want to be in an energy that is, you know, they want to move past their own healing. They want to enjoy abundance with you. For some of you, this person may want to move towards you or in with you. Five of Wands are conflicted. The ultimate inner turmoil. Ten of Swords walking away. Wow, okay. So there's a lot of inner turmoil here with your person. Moon card says that they, they really are underwater with this Three of Swords. So for some of you, there could be a third party situation. There could be a marriage that has to be left behind to a person that they really love, but they're not in love with to somebody that. So for instance, if you were a child who lost your mother, now you're in a marriage in which you are not feeling as though your marriage is in good shape and you want to leave it but you wouldn't leave it because you would not want your children to feel orphaned. So it's an interesting energy. It'll be different for different people. But they see you as the manifestation of everything that they want. You embody everything. Again, we have hermit-like energy. Six of Cups, they want a reunion and you are their best friend. Again, the best friend card is here twice. There is so much. I feel as though your person has this inner inner thought process that keeps looping around 
I feel it's like bing, 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 bing. I want to be with Gemini. I love Gemini. Gemini embodies everything I want, but I can't leave because I have all these other obligations. I'm a strong person. And then they just keep going through this energy. That's what the Seven of Cups is. They just, they just keep mauling this and trying to turn it over and over again. But they cannot deny their love for you. They cannot deny how they feel about you. They don't know what to do about it because they feel as though they have sacrifices that they need to make for other people so that they do the right thing. Fire in your belly, fire in the fire in the belly. Throw caution to the winds. Don't feel so burdened. Look at that. Be a little bit selfish is what spirit is saying. You know, allow yourself the freedom to do what you want to do. Both of you. Have that new beginning. Study the situation carefully. Communicate. Look at this, your outcome is moving away from troubles into deep love, being very emotional with each other. <sighs> wow. The recognition will come this week that this is your person. Your person's, I feel this is more on the part of your person than it's on the part of you, Gemini. The Three of Wands is all about the energy of my ship has arrived in the harbor. Look at, we have a boat and ship has already arrived. Tiki torches, starry nights water really feeling very loving very tranquil very excited by the journey of love and three of coins working together getting out of your head getting out of your toxic energy a really beautiful love offering that is going to require scorpio energy the end of something from the past and the beginning so that you can be begin and have your beginning in this relationship so we're going to look at your journey of love, your person, and then we're going to look at you. Or excuse me, we're going to do that reverse. We're going to look at your love journey first. What is the love journey of our beautiful Gemini friends? What is the love journey here? Lovers, <laughs> that's your card, Gemini. The lover's card is your card. And, you know, the major arcana, it's all about making a choice and but it really says allowing yourself to just feel the feels and love deeply and, and cherish this beautiful connection. Your person's love journey, legacy of light. <gasps> what I said about the mother, the legacy. They want to be a legacy of light and that is their journey to ascension, is in their healing process to realize that they're still allowed to have love even with responsibilities to other people. All right, so let's see what we have here for the High Priestess Oracle energy for both of you, the wisdom of it. What's the message for you? You have clarity, planning, release, and releasing illusion. So you're pretty comfortable. You know that, you know what part your work is in this and you know what part belongs to your person. All letting go with the flow. Go with the flow. Your person is coming into alignment. They're letting go. They're cleansing. And they are receiving. That is a profound, profound message. One other card flipped over on my hand as I pulled this. Bright heart light. Open connections. So you are coming into a level of union with the 1111 card. You know, if Twin Flames is part of your journey or you feel it is. I don't even care what you call it, a rose by any other name, it's still a rose. You are in ascension, both of you. Beautiful energy. I hope you like the reading, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate your time.